Hi, how are you? I'm Chris Ritter, and I'm the librarian here at the AACA Library and Research Center. You are here for a virtual tour, and it makes sense that we start right here in the lobby. The first thing that we're going to take a look at is our collection of display cases. And in this display case here, we have a wide range of things. The items over here belong to E.T. Gregory. These were his personal effects. Uh, Gregory was the man who designed the Lincoln Continental, so it's kind of neat to have that. Those pieces are owned by the Lincoln Motor Car Foundation, and they house a literature collection here in our library. This middle rack that I was just working on has a variety of things as well. Um, before there was the AACA Museum, people used to donate automobilia to us, and that's what you see in that display case, spark plugs, license plates, altimeters, etc. This model here was actually sent out to Nash dealers in the 50s, and Mike and Matt, two of the library employees, put that together just last year. Not long ago, we ran an article in Antique Automobile on automotive board games, so we have some on display, touring, which was very popular, and then a less popular Pontiac board game on the lower level. We have two other display cases. The first one right here at the moment is dedicated to racing. So we have photographs, newspaper clippings, trophies, and models as well. Our third and final display case is dedicated to transcontinental motoring. Uh, I guess about six months ago, we ran an article in Antique Automobile on transcontinental motoring, and this represents our source material. So there's books, there's diaries, there's photographs, there's maps, etc. Up above the display cases, you'll see three different pedal cars. The green pedal car is an actual steel craft from the 1930s. That's an original one. And then the blue Pontiac and the wooden bookmobile are recreations from the modern era. In addition to the display what? cases, it's obvious that we have a couple vehicles here in the lobby. This first one here is a 1906 Mitchell. This one was donated to us by the Mitchell family. We have a 1940 Ford Deluxe. This was given to us by the estate of Benny Boodle in 1997. Benny Boodle was past national president of AACA, and he was a huge Ford fan, and we're lucky enough to have Old Blue in our collection now. The little race car that you see here is a quarter midget from the 1960s. This one was given to us in October of 2013. It was actually run on the race circuit in the 60s, and we have big plans for it up ahead. The library also owns a 1929 Harley-Davidson motorcycle, but that one is on loan at the AACA Museum right now. We've done the quick tour of the lobby. Let's head upstairs so we can look at the library itself. Okay, here we are in the main reading area of the library. On this side of the room, we have the desks for Mike and Matt. That's where they get all their work done. Just behind them, those filing cabinets contain all of our flat files. And in the left area of that, is our digitization equipment. Moving over to this side of the room, we have two columns dedicated to book sale books, two columns to the newest additions to our library. They don't necessarily have to be published this year. They're just new to us. This column here is our wiring diagrams. Here is our paint chip collection. Some old trade directories, annual reports, and this last column here contains some fabric sample binders and our collection of antique automobile, which runs from 1937 to 2014. Off to my left here is Mike Riley. He's our cataloger, and he's going to take you the rest of the way on this floor. Thanks, Chris. Let me just pop these books on the shelves, and then we'll start the tour for our book collection. So here we have our book collection on my left here, and this covers everything from Alfa Romeo to specific books on Chevrolet, Ford, Mercedes, Dodge, all the way up to Volkswagen and Volvo. These are books that are centrally located on, on those different topics. Our next section here is more compilation books covering things of uh, like British cars, cars from the 50s, cars of the 40s, you know, American trucks, things like that. 
which then leads us into our truck section, which is uh, basically from here down. Over here we have our two-wheeled vehicles covering motorcycles, scooters, and mopeds. We have books on even specific manufacturers such as uh, Vespa, Indian, and uh, Harley-Davidson. Our section here is on uh, electric and steam automobiles. Most of these come from, obviously, the turn of the century when those vehicles were still being made. And uh, leading into our hands-on DIY section. These books cover everything from ignition systems from 19, like the early 1900s to a book on steam engines from 1897. Up next, we have our section on Petroliana, which is basically automobile memorabilia, such as gas pumps and gas signs, things like that. If you've seen American Pickers, you'll be familiar with that material. Over on this side, we have our promotional videos that are uh, put out by specific manufacturers. Over here, we have our travel guide section. A lot of these were put out uh, by a lot of different companies. AAA put them out. They're basically road maps and road atlases of the, of the early 1900s. And they would help you if you were going on a road trip, even given hotel rooms and specific points of interest. Moving down the line a bit, we have our racing section. We have uh, some more of our like uh, shop manually DIY kind of hands-on section. Uh, these are a little bit more general, such as you know how to how to change a flat tire and things like that. Over in this corner, we have our foreign language section. Uh, we have a lot of books that are in German and French, as well as Spanish. And that'll cover these two sections right here. We keep them all together. This moves into our fiction section. Uh, we don't have a lot of fiction, but what we do, it's, it's pretty interesting stuff. That leads into our biography section. And this includes a lot of things about the automotive personalities, things Henry Ford, you know, uh, Walter Chrysler, and, and basically anyone who had anything to do with the automotive history. On my right here, we have uh, our stacks, which starting from the back is our special collections, uh, starting with Spampa, uh, moving up to the Pierce Arrow Society, the Vintage Chevy Club, Buick Heritage Society, or Buick Heritage Alliance, and the Lincoln Motor Car Foundation. Uh, if you want to know more about those, we have some videos up on our website and on YouTube that focus specifically on each individual collection. Over here on my left, we have uh, books relating to military vehicles, such as tanks and trucks that were used during the wars. Moving forward a little bit more, we have our reference section. Uh, this has encyclopedias that cover general automotive topics. To my right again, we have our collection, which similar to our special collections, we also have a video detailing those uh, and, and the information and materials that are inside that. Coming up here, we have our books on general automotive and uh, similar to our specific mark books, except these are just kind of a more broad topics. Over here, uh, this right here, we have our shop manuals and we have about uh, two or three rows of this. And basically, if you needed a shop manual for a 1930 Buick or something like that, chances are we might have it for you. So that basically covers our book collection. And uh, here's Matt finishing up with uh, our books for sale, and I think he's going to take you downstairs. Thanks, Mike. Let's go take a look downstairs. Okay, so here we are down in the basement of the library. And these filing drawers to the left and the ones behind me, we have part of our blueprint collection. And moving on down here to the corner, is where we store our film collection. Now, we loan these out to different regions and chapters of AACA, so if you're interested in showing any at events, just give us a call and we'll help you out. Or we're starting to also put them up on our YouTube channel so you can watch them from the comfort of your own home. Moving on down the line here, we have books and photographs from the Spampa Archives, which is a fire engine collection. And then going over here, these blue boxes contain our map collection, covering all 50 U.S. states and even some foreign countries. The stacks here contain our periodical collection, which consists of more than 60,000 individual issues, going as far back as the late 1800s 
up until present day. For example, let's take Motor for instance. Here we have some from the 90s. On this shelf we have some from the 30s. And then we have some from 1905. Or maybe you're interested in sports cars from the 50s. You'd want to check out Motorsport. Over here, these cabinets contain the Hudson collection. And then in this storage area here is where we house our eBay inventory. We sell books, sales literature, and photographs to help raise money for the library. And then moving on down here is the Dunwoody archives. Now this is a very special collection because it serves as an index for our periodical collection. And when you have si over 60,000 individual issues, it helps to have a reference sheet to look at. Okay, thanks for taking our virtual tour. If you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. I encourage you to continue looking at our website. And if you get the chance to visit us on site in Hershey, Pennsylvania, you can do that Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We hope to see you soon.